That boy is our last hope. I do not see a boy. I see a warrior. <laughs> Look! No, Chad, we can't do this anymore. Oh, okay. Wait. I couldn't sleep last night. Oh, I hate that. What am I doing? Am I some bored housewife who's having an affair with her 23-year-old pool boy? I mean, what is this? Your kitchen. No, I mean us. I really hope you understand, but we, we have to end this. Okay. God, I had no idea it would be this hard. It's just when it first... <laughs> What up? You deserve an explanation. Oh, OK, cool. Look, you've done nothing wrong, OK? I should have known better. But I don't know. It was just, it was fun. It was new. OK. But my god, I'm a married woman with three kids. My husband's on the city council. I'm the PTA president at Melanie's school. Who's Melanie? My daughter. OK. God, if this got out, it would just ruin my life, our family's lives. Oh, my bad. But, God, all I want you to do is clear the bags off this table and take me right now. Okay. But you can't. Oh, okay. Because I've learned that sometimes getting what you want means losing what you already have. Look, I, I wrote this for you last night. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I'm blushing. I just, I want you to know I'm not a very good writer, okay? And I mean, it's not sophisticated, but it's how I feel. I just, I mean every word of what I wrote. Whoa! Hey, Miss Handler, I found a dead squirrel in your pool. <laughs> Hello? What up? Where's Philip? Oh, my uncle just hired me. Uh, I'm gonna be doing your house now. I'm Toby. Oh, I can. Uh, no, that's all right. Um, I, I do think that is what Descartes intended. For instance, people who speak exist. You and I are speaking. Therefore, you and I exist. Congratulations, you just used your first Cartesian logic. OK. You know, I do hope you continue to drop by, Chad. I really quite enjoy our visits. OK. No, thanks. Oh, help. No, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, that was unbelievably inappropriate behavior, Chad. I, I apologize, I just, I, I, I misread the moment. Okay. See, I, I mistook your frequent visits here to mean something more. Oh, my bad. No, it's not your fault at all. Truth be told, I've not been myself of late. But this weekend, I, I'm getting married to a, a beautiful young lady. Oh, congrats. Yet I feel nothing, Chad, nothing. Okay. Oh, but that doesn't matter because it's all part of Daddy's master plan. You know, marry the rich girl from Newport, become a professor and achieve tenure by 40. God forbid the great Leonard Buckley son should feel the love of another man! I'm ready to glow. I was drawn to you, Chad, because truth be told, I envy you. You're a man who lives his life free from doubt and worry. I want to be you, Chad. Okay. Oh, my word, this is so pathetic. Look at me, I'm a 28-year-old professor's assistant pouring my heart out to a sophomore student. Am I boring you? Kinda. Oh. 
You can, of course, leave at any time you wish and spare yourself my ramblings, though I have to admit, having an ear to bend makes a welcome respite from... <laughs> Chad? 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 What up? Uh, would you mind getting back here for a moment? There's something else I wanted to say to you. Oh, OK. <laughs> Chad, you passed it. Oh, my bad. Chad, I hope we can forget about my brief lack of self-control today. OK. I truly hope that my actions haven't um, tainted our friendship. <laughs> Taint. And lastly, Chad, I'd like to thank you. Because today, you taught me. For a brief moment, I wasn't a spectator to my own life. I was living it. Safety. <laughs> You're right, Chad. I should laugh more. Anyway, I'd appreciate it if you kept what happened between us today a secret. OK. Hey, Chad, what the hell? What's taking so long? Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Buckley tried to kiss me. OK. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Well, you're so right, Chad. I shouldn't keep my secrets in the dark. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Our prophets told of a savior who would arrive from another land and free our world from the grip of darkness. What is your birth name? Chad. The Dark Lord Azrakhan and his army of shadows has entombed our world in ice and snow. Only you can defeat him, Chad. OK. We must inform the queen of your arrival. No need. I felt his presence. <laughs> I am Queen Chrysalis, ruler of Etheria and the Nine Rivers, from Stog to Everseed. OK. There was a time when these meadows bloomed, and there is hope they may bloom again. For today marks your coming. <laughs> coming. You are the savior of Etheria. So says the prophecy. So says the prophecy. OK. But you must undertake a dangerous journey. You may return to your world at any time if you desire. The choice is yours. But be warned. He left. What? Go. Mm. My leash. I'm yes. Just... Chad, why did you leave? I was bored. Can you come back for a moment? We weren't done. OK. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. You have chosen to follow your destiny. First, you must climb the mountain of despair. OK. Then ford the river of flame. OK. And survive the forest of translucent transgressions. And after the veil of evil is lifted, you will become king, and I will gift you with my virginity. Dope. After your journey. Oh, OK. To aid you on this quest, we give you these items. From the order of the Centauri, I present you with this map to guide you. Thousands of my kind died beyond the mountains to create it. May they rest with the gods. And from the kingdom of dwarves, I give you the crystal of Gumligan to light your path. Gay. And from the Elven Council, the sword of the great warrior Ashlyn. Safe travels, young warrior. May the great gods bless you. OK. That boy is our last hope. I do not see a boy. I see a warrior. <laughs> Look! <laughs> it's like a sword as his penis. <laughs> Very clever. OK. Going once, going twice. Whoa, sold for a whopping $1,600. Congratulations to this lovely young lady at table six. You have won breakfast and a private tennis lesson with our head instructor, Brandon. 
<laughs> Heads up, I'm gonna make you sweat. <laughs> At breakfast? <laughs> no, uh, the tennis lesson. Okay, you two go see Dana to set that date. $1,600 is the biggest stake so far in our Orange Park Acres Tennis Club Bachelor Auction. Remember, all proceeds from tonight go to our club's youth traveling team, so keep those bids coming. Our next tennis club bachelor works at the club pro shop. It's Chad. Uh, you may know Chad from vaping in the parking lot. Uh, you're betting on a lunch with Chad, so we'll start the bidding at, I don't know, 50 bucks. Sound good, Chad? Okay. All right. Do I hear 50? Oh, my God. There's something about that boy. $50. 100. 500. 1,000. Wow, uh, Chad's a hit. Uh, anything to keep those bids coming, man? You got any hidden talents, Chad? Uh, I, I made up a dance called the Doink Doink. All right, let's see it. Okay. Doink, 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 doink. Woo! Oh my God, the doink, doink is amazing. Uh, yes, we have eyes, Sylvia. Five thousand dollars. Oh, typical Cecile, jump in when the action's hot. Ten thousand, and I'll raise myself to fifteen. I must have the doink, doink. Go home, ladies. <laughs> Patty's come to play. Thirty thousand damn dollars. Fifty thousand, and that's a bargain. Look, I am willing to go to six figures, but I need more. What else does Chad bring to the table? Uh, um, any other talents, Chad? Uh, I, I could do an impression of Jim Carrey as the Grinch. Oh, Jesus Christ, this place is going to explode. <laughs> $100,000, I don't even need to hear it. Well, what if it's not good? Of course it'll be good, it's Chad, you cow. Just shut up, all of you. Let Chad work. Okay, uh, this is when he's talking to his dog. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. $500,000! 600000 That sounded exactly like the Grinch. 700000 and I didn't even see the Grinch. I feel like I'm in the upside down right now. Uh, Chad's Grinch impression took us to 700 grand. Uh, anything else you're hiding from us, Chad? Oh, uh, I could do a magic trick. It's pointless, ladies. There's a reason you all call me Richie Bitch behind my back. I get what I want. Oh, quiet, pig, look! Boing, 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 boing. Ten million dollars! <laughs> Ten million going once, twice, sold to the mystery man in the fun coat. Uh, who are you, sir? It doesn't matter. What matters is the lunch with Chad is mine. Have the boy cleaned and take it to my lodge. <laughs> Sounds kind of creepy. Are you cool with that, Chad? Okay. Okay, big hand for Chad. All right, Chad. All right, on to our big ticket item. We pulled a lot of strings to get him here. Get your checkbooks ready for our next bachelor, tennis legend, John McEnroe. <laughs> Uh, tell us, what are they bidding on, Mr. McEnroe? All right, I'm offering a weekend stay at my estate, a.k.a. the Mac Shack. <laughs> it includes a three-hour tennis lesson from yours truly, a mixed doubles match with Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf, and, of course, unlimited selfies with me, John McEnroe, the bad boy of tennis. Whoa, okay, the bad boy of tennis. Ladies, start that bidding. <laughs> what? You gotta be kidding me. I'm John McEnroe, man! What do you ladies want? You can bring Chad along. Is this what you want? Doink, doink! Doink, 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 doink! <laughs> 20 million dollars! Now that is more like it. Sold! Yeah. 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 Yeah.